We have to have confidence in ourselves. We have to have confidence in the people of Ireland. And don't listen to Leo or Michal or Colm or Arlene when they tell you that Irish unity is not possible. Don't believe the naysayers and the begrudgers in the independent media group and others of like mind who claim that a united Ireland is a pipe dream. It isn't. It's very real. It's very achievable. And we can achieve it. So please welcome the President-elect of our party, Mary Lou Macdonald. <laughs> My friends, I won't fill Jerry's shoes. But the news is that I brought my own. So, so I will fill my shoes. I will walk in my shoes. And we together, over the coming years, will walk a journey that is full of opportunities, full of challenges, but I believe which marks a defining epoch, a defining chapter in our achievement of a united Ireland and the ending of partition. And as Jerry has said, that's not a pipe dream, that's not empty rhetoric. That is the road we're on. And let it be understood that this isn't uniquely a project for Republicans or nationalists. I believe that Irish unity is the best solution the best collective arrangement for all of our people, including our unionist brothers and sisters. And I know that we have a job to do to convince them of that, but I know that we are more than fit for that task.